Hello, my name is Jan Canodal. I'm the Extension Entomologist for North Dakota State University. Today we're out in a local cornfield near Arthur, North Dakota. The crop is pollinating, so we're going to be scouting for adult corn rootworms. For identification, the northern corn rootworm is pale to dark green and about a quarter of an inch long. The female western corn rootworm is light yellow to green with three black stripes on their wing covers. Males have a more solid black marking on their wing covers. Adult corn rootworms like to feed on the silk masses, so go out and randomly scout the silk masses in the field and count the number of corn rootworm beetles that you see. Take an average on the sites that you check. If you have an average of five corn rootworms per plant and they're clipping the silks to within one half inch, that would be considered a economic threshold where a foliar rescue treatment would be necessary on top of the field. Adult corn rootworms will be attracted to the late planted fields or the late flowering hybrids um, in the area, so you be sure to scout these later maturing fields for the adults and any feeding on the silks. For our corn rootworm research, we're monitoring corn rootworms with emergence traps and we're taking a look at the numbers of corn rootworm adults that emerge from these different traits. As part of the corn rootworm research, we're monitoring the adult corn rootworm with sticky traps. This is the green multi-guard trap from Century Biologicals Incorporated. And you can see some northern corn rootworms and some westerns down here. Our second corn trap is the yellow ferricone AM trap from Trace Incorporated. And we have a corn rootworm here on the trap. And we're running the traps in two transects and they're spaced 20 meters apart. And we have five traps total of each type for a total of 10 per field. Thank you for watching this video and learning more about corn rootworm.